Welcome back, Ninja Peeps. Same recording session, we're continuing on. <coughs> we have now got Nikola Tesla's <laughs> Ooh, there's a, let's go. Wow. Will we get it? Will we get it in time? We will get it in time. You're, you're, danger. Human speed is not enough to pass through that fan. Chance of death 100%. Retrieve the time vortex device if you wish to go any further. Searching. Time vortex device detected. Device in dangerous area. Nuclear ants everywhere. We're going back and ladies and gentlemen. So we want M for teleporting. And we want to be here, I believe. Yeah, because this is nuclear. Voila, we are here. Oh, I'm gonna need Dick because he's got the explosives as well. Disappointed. So, do we get any backstory on Dick? Why'd he travel to Gravoria in the first place? Did he do any research before landing there? Did he have a specific mission in that region of space? Patrick, Patrick, if you keep getting bogged down by the details, how will you ever learn to just sit back and appreciate the work of art for what it is? Production tip, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how sunny it is, don't score your paper mache props outdoors. They will get rained on. It's the law in this town, like Occam's Razor or Stockholm Syndrome or I forget what it's called. What in the cosmos? It's my co-pilot's body! I... I believe that I can repair him. Oh no! I mean, that ant has a brain. I am trapped! <laughs> Just carried him along, boys, Ed. Master Dick. Master Dick! That's a little disturbing. Master Dick. You're, you're... Functions restored. You, you, threat detected. Must eliminate. Fun fact! Hey, we actually had an actor inside the robot suit moving him around. I bet you thought it was an actual robot, huh? That's how good he was. No rest breaks or anything. Hardest working actor I've ever met. What a trooper. It was a shame we couldn't afford to pay him. And of course, since he wasn't on the payroll, I couldn't officially add him to the credits. But still, what a trooper. Wish I had a dozen actors like him. Yeah, I bet you do. Okay, so robot has time to go. Do it. Hey, as we 
<laughs> your, your dangerous radiation detected. No, no, we didn't oh, use the same that. material for the toxic waste as we did the slimes. I mean, why fake something when you have the real deal available? We found a place where people were just dumping the stuff away for free. I was hoping the crew members handling it might get some cool superpowers from it, but no, nothing like that. I bet. Dude, that's dangerous. Super hot flame drive. Of course, why not? Tip that. Hmm, okay. So I need lots more gold cards, so I'm not going to get much upgrading. Miniature tower of monsters. Oh, look, it's Dick's puppet. You, you, I really will strike down upon you with great vengeance and furious anger. But you're all right, and you saved the day. You're you're treadle eliminated. Looks like the Emperor's days are numbered. At long last, we have assembled our team. A lot of reviewers and fans too always wondered why we shot so few scenes with all three heroes in it together. I mean, we did our best to explain it. Something about the sleep chambers or staying back to protect the ape village. Really, it was just logistics. Jonathan had bowling league on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and, and Stacy had her karate Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Honestly, we almost never had all of them on the set at the same time. <laughs> 
Our robot oh, wow, actor was in some religion that only allowed him to work on Sundays. I'm still a little skeptical about that one, though. Sir, it's just a guy in a suit. Couldn't you have gotten just about anyone to stand in as the robot? See? That's why you'd make a horrible director, Patrick. His touches were subtle, to say the least. But he really brought a lot of character to the robot role. If he was so indispensable, how come you didn't list the actor in the credits? Well, let's just say it was an oversight. But I've learned my lesson. I only made the mistake six more times throughout my career. Rickety old things. The higher up they went, the more they sounded like they were gonna fall apart. I'm amazed that no one ever got hurt, or worse, riding these things. Well, there was the actor we originally cast for Dick's role, but um, we don't talk about him. Is there like Fight Club? Is there like Fight Club? Ah, uh, Burger Festival Fight Club. Ooh, you really start to get a sense of how high up our heroes have been climbing here. Reminds me of how the crew always used to comment on how high everyone was. <laughs> Those jokers, they'd even say it when we were filming the grounded scenes. And they all giggled like school children whenever they mentioned it too. So I'd make sure to laugh even harder so they'd know I was in on the joke. Whatever it was. Zip back. Oh, I need to there. What? That's quite unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, thanks for the effects. It's okay. Top of the snake tower. Oh, it's the gorilla. It's mega gorilla grunt. Fight this beast here. I must make for higher ground. Okay, so we're going to be on a timer for this one, I'm assuming. Because he's um, destroying the guys.
sets back then. Props, walls, you name it. Then, you moved bits and pieces around and created whole new scenes. We were efficient. I adopted that technique to my wardrobe, too. If you mixed and matched efficiently, you could get by for years on only a handful of shirts and underwear. Come on, Mega Gorilla. You and me, bro. Okay, so I can't get near you. Shock wave. Do I just keep shooting here? I'm taking damage too, so I better watch out for that. And I got hit with a shockwave again. What's going on? This isn't the. I got beaten.
man. I can never get enough of these free-falling shots. Something so invigorating and freeing about them. Like sticking your head out of the sunroof while driving on the freeway. I designed this creature to reflect the human condition. Always hungry, never satisfied. The bottomless pit of the beast's stomach. I don't know, you say stuff like that in interviews and your film always wins awards. So it's just about the rewards, is it, mate? Is that all it is? Now, I saw some rings somewhere around here when we were coming up. Science fiction directors sometimes put the lens flare in on purpose. Why on earth? Yeah. What's the Michael next Bay. trend? Dead fly on the lens? <laughs> Jeez. Watch. You won't believe me, but you just watch. It'll happen. Some big shot will do it for one scene, and the following year, everyone will be doing it. Yep. Yeah. That's right, you know. Well, I'm seeing pterodactyl shadow. That's not super reassuring. Part two, which are your adventures into the deadly red pass. Doctor Peculiar. Yes, your eminence. Release the Mechameleon. But your eminence, the, the Mechameleon isn't ready. What is the meaning of this? I thought What's he was completed. Genius is never completed, your eminence. I was just preparing to install a chainsaw on his tail. Enough! Your tinkering costs me precious gold and time. You do not have that luxury, Dr. Peculiar. Yes, your eminence. Releasing the Mechameleon at once. Oh, oh Ludwig. Well, Mechameleon. Yeah, good old Ludwig. We cast an actual doctor to play Dr. Peculiar. Never again. Oh my god, he was a cranky old coot. May he, um, rest in peace. The costumes, the script, the creature effects, you name it, he wouldn't stop criticizing everything. Well, in his defense, I think he did have some early signs of dementia or something. He was always getting lost on set, forgetting his lines, making up new ones. Yeah, it was cute. Midway through a scene, he'd just yell, Her and my pills! <laughs> it was like a catchphrase. We almost left a few of them in. What's this? What's this about? Oh, a bone scimitar? Now that could be something nice and new. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on there. Seems we're in a crystal glass elevator. 
I have to say that the incredible the job the animators did with the King Gorilla can only be outdone by their work in the Mecha Million. I'll leave further comments for later in the film, but this was truly an epic creation. <laughs> Beware Emperor's Guards. Okay, thank you for that. And there is the checkpoint, guys. So we're going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, smash that like and subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter over Realities Mark. And as always, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.